What's going on, one and all, and welcome back to One Way Bay, the city where one ways are the only way of life. Yes, um, you probably know that by now. We are in episode 82 of One Way Bay. That is just amazing. I've never thought that I'd get this far into a series, let alone have the amount of support that is still going on with these videos. They each get about 100 to 200 views per video. That's crazy. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for sharing, guys. This is really awesome. The support for One Way Bay is phenomenal. And, I don't know, I love this city, and I know you guys do too. I mean, look at Hank Hill over here. He's loving his existence, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so, what are we doing in this episode? Well, in this episode, we definitely have pretty much pulled out of the, um, death wave. Yeah, definitely pretty much. Yeah, what a bit of an oxymoron there. But, yes, we are... Out of the death wave, we are actually, we have quite a bit of demand for residential. Uh, you'll notice that we don't have much money anymore, but it's okay because we have like 9,000 coming in per week. So that's good. And look, we have a bunch of demand for workers, which is awesome. That just means we need more people to move into One Way Bay. So, what are we doing this episode? Well, we need to come back here and connect this train line up. That's pretty much the only plan that I have right now, but... I'm sure we'll find something else to do, and if not, we'll just kind of make this a shorter episode. I think, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to do that, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, in between episodes, I've gone ahead and did a little bit of terraforming. I'm not sure this is going to work over here, but we'll see. Uh, I had to move this highway a little bit just because there was a pillar right about here. So now there's a gap for where this train line is going to go up. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this down. Now, this isn't going to be the final version of this, I don't think. Why are you up in the air? There we go. All right. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be the final version of this whole system over here. Mostly because I think we're going to put some walls up to make it look good. Oh, look at that turn. Perfect. And then right into there. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And look at that. So... Yeah, we're all connected up with this train line. It should go all the way down, and there shouldn't be anything running on it at this point. Where are you going? You're a freight train just passing through. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's an outside line. This is the outside line. This is the inside line, yes. Um, I've basically had this philosophy for a couple cities that I've played through in City Skylines now. That is to keep all of the outside train lines outside and keep the inside train lines in. Basically any trains that are coming in through here, basically just for freight, uh, never stop in the city. I've had a freight depot, a cargo hub, cargo depot, cargo terminal. I think I renamed those cargo, cargo terminals though. So. No, they are. Cargo train terminals. I've hooked those up to outside connections, and they just got bogged down with so many trains and so many trucks that it was just very annoying. Um, I think that was probably my bad, because that was before I knew that you had to take, um, for example, any farmland. You need to have the industry zoned on non-farmland just so it takes crops and processes them. And so I didn't know that, so I didn't do that. And so we were probably exporting a bunch of just raw crops and then importing processed crops to produce in industry. So I haven't tried going back and doing like a proper cargo terminal since then, but I'm kind of hesitant to do that. Although, you know what? We could probably just try it, you know? I mean, maybe not this episode, but we could, we could probably try it. I think that's probably a decent idea, and in all honesty, we could probably put this uh, boat terminal down, the cargo hub. This thing's huge, and it connects to train lines, so we could probably put that in somewhere in the bay, and it's probably, it would maybe, oh man, that would be kind of cool right there, although I don't think, did that hook up to the actual cargo, or the boat line? Yes, it did. So yeah, we could go ahead and do this. Actually, let me know what you think of that. Should we just experiment and try it and just say, screw it, let's go and see what happens? Um, it'd be a really crazy experiment because I honestly haven't connected outside lines. You know that. Although, the passenger trains we've I've connected, just because you need a way to get term, er, um, tourists 
into the city. So yes, this is the outside connection for the train, and these two on the outside are the connections for the passenger stops within the city. So just in case you haven't been following One Way Bay and don't know how that all works in there, that's why there are three uh, train stations down here. Yeah, um, I just, I don't know. It would have gotten very cluttered if we put, like, all of them at one station. So, back over here, before it gets dark, because I time these videos perfectly, of course. Um, yeah, so my plan over here is to raise these. I started doing it a little bit here, but I just kind of ran out of money, and I didn't want to spend all of the money. I kind of want to make this look like it's still in the mountains. So, I, I kind of went around with this terraforming tool here. It's just the... Um, the single raise and lower kind of thing. And I just kind of came through here, and I raised some mountain peaks, and I lowered some, and I just kind of want to make it look like this is cutting through the mountains over here. And then around here, we'll go ahead and uh, actually smooth it out. So, um, maybe that was a bad idea. You know, right there, we won't smooth out. But, like, I don't know, just taking this over here, we'll just do kind of this. It'll make it look a little better, I think. And then we'll go through again and actually raise some smaller peaks and just create a little bit of a uh, natural look, I guess, is what I'm going for here. Um, so, yeah, I think this is going to look cool. And then I'll kind of continue this around up over here and look how fast that drains our money. It really does. Um, and then down here, we'll go ahead and take this tool and hopefully get a decent slope. I'm not sure how this is going to look. But we just need a way to cut the road back up to here. Because I don't want to do too much terraforming over through here. And unfortunately, that actually kind of screwed up that mountain range over there. So I have to, I think, take some of this out over on this end of things. And this is just, this is going awry. This is such a big slope that, uh... This is not working out very well for me. But we'll take the smoothening tool, the smoothening, the smoothinator, and uh, just run through here and make it look kind of good. And then I can't see a damn thing over here. So we'll do that in the morning. Um, yeah, we actually now have some demand for commercial. That's great. Uh, I think we've pretty much probably by now filled up most of the uh, residential slots that were destroyed or abandoned due to the death wave, which uh, is now officially over. I'm going to declare it. It is over. So I'm going to actually turn off some more crematoriums. Just managing the death wave situation is going to be kind of interesting until we fill up all of these cemeteries, which, you, you know, they're, they're nowhere close. So we do have a bunch of money coming in right now. Maybe we should re-examine the budget that we kind of screwed around with last episode. Um, healthcare should probably stay up like that. And then the road maintenance, maybe we should boost up a little bit more. And, you know, the day-night thing actually is kind of cool with rush hour. Because things will, like, if I up the budget at night for, um, road maintenance, it should, there should be less people on the streets late at night. Which means the trucks from the road maintenance hub uh, department will be able to easily go around the city. They won't have to, like, contest with traffic. So that'll probably make them more efficient. So if I had that on during the day and I cranked that up, we'd have more uh, maintenance trucks during the day, which means they would just probably add to the traffic and create more problems than they are solving. So very interesting. Let's actually take a look at the... Um, not the traffic, the road maintenance. What's going on? Wow, they're doing some work out here. That's pretty, pretty awesome. So yeah, the coverage is high, and when it's higher, the condition goes to boosted. And when it's boosted, people can go faster on that stretch of road. Not like, unbelievably, like if they go from here to there, they don't just like take off like a rocket, but they probably go a little bit faster. And because of that, they can, uh, you know, everything gets a little more efficient. See, we have a truck right here going through, and it's just basically, I don't know, laying down a layer of decent road. I mean, it doesn't really work realistically. Uh, 
I guess we could kind of pretend it's like a street sweeper. It's definitely not like a truck that would go around and like patch asphalt or like potholes or anything like that because it would have to stop in the middle of the street. But it's cleaning up the road, we'll say, and making everything a little bit more efficient. Um, I'm actually not sure what causes it to go back to deteriorated state. Is it over time or is it the amount of people that drive over it? That's a very good question that I don't know the answer to. So if anybody knows that one, let me know. I'm very curious about that. Um, yeah, so our coverage is pretty high and I thought that was good, uh, but the condition is not... See, red usually means bad, but red on this doesn't mean bad. It just means normal. So eh, nothing over here is boosted. Perhaps later on we'll up that budget again when we have the money to, but for now it's going to have to stay where it is just because we have more important things to focus our budget on. And actually I'm going to speed up time. Wow, it's Saturday and there is an event when? Um, there's an event down at the stadium. I haven't seen anything for the aquarium yet. Um, it's at, what is that, 830 Come on, where's the thing? Uh, uh, why is that so hard to hover on? I'm not doing anything, it's just doing its own thing. Very strange. Um, but yeah, 8am. Eight, 8 There's like a weird soccer match down at 8am down here at the stadium. So actually, look at this. We have hotels that have sprung up now. That one actually looks really cool. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. I kind of wish that was like a uh, an apartment model, but wow, that is a really cool hotel. I'm actually not sure if that's a real... Wow, no. Obviously it's not. It's in a video game. Duh. But no, I'm not sure if that's a, a vanilla model or if I actually downloaded that from somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I, I know I've downloaded a few separate, like, building assets, but I'm not sure if you have to throw those into a theme in order for that to actually, like, pop into your city. Um, and actually, look at that. We've completely neglected to zone that right there and that one right there so that's very strange but hotels should pop up down there for us um hopefully so basically the taller buildings here are hotels and the smaller ones are cafes but you know what that's pretty good because i mean the souvenir stand we could just pretend it's like a team shop and uh the cafes are pretty much just like little like stores that people can go to after the game or before the game, you know as long as it's not like 8 a.m. Like this one's going to be you can pop over to a uh, bar or whatever downtown and uh, Get like you can get your swerve on at the nightclub if you want um, Yeah, so yeah, uh, It's pretty cool. I'm kind of curious We're not gonna be able to see it happen over here for this event because the event is in the morning, so people after the game is over or whatever's going on down here um, Does it say no, it'd be kind of cool if this popped up like there's a game at 8 a.m. Till whenever I can't really tell 930 there's a game from 8 a.m. To 930 that'd be cool to have right there, but you know uh, Whatever we'll uh, if that goes into the mod we'll uh, we'll appreciate it then but until now or until then, I guess. We're just gonna, you know, deal with what we have. And that is a weird misfunctioning thing at the moment. Yeah, it's just, like, it stays when I take my cursor off, and then it goes away when I don't, you know, want it to be there or whatever. But, all right. So, the daytime is finally rising over One Way Bay. We got about two hours until game time, so we should start seeing a bunch of traffic start up here that comes look at this we have people that was a bird i thought that was a car just like sliding through here but yes people are coming to the stadium they are parking in the fine parking lots that we have surrounding the stadium now this stadium stadium land is really conducive to the uh games and stuff just there's tons of parking around and it's just a prime location right off the highway I mean, the first event that we had seemed to really bog down traffic a bunch, but since then, you know, it's been pretty good, which is interesting. Um, not sure why. Actually, this this lot over here never seems to get um, any attention for the games, and I think that's just because... Wow, that was cool. 
Uh, just had to fix that little land quirk there, but I think that's because no one is really coming to the game over here. And I don't think they're going to be really looking for parking around here. I think they're just going to come down this path to the stadium and then find parking closest to basically right here where they hit the stadium. So they're not like, oh, I could park over here and beat the traffic. They're like, I'm here. Where do I park? Here or here or wherever. But yeah, by the time they would get to here, they'd have to actually come through around. So maybe that's a problem. And actually me um, doing that direction of the traffic reminds me that I wanted to fix the direction of the traffic flow up in here. Yes, um, we're going to switch this up just a tiny bit. And that's because I just I was thinking about this and it makes a lot more sense to go this way out of this because this is the only way to get in up here is straight through here. So we're going to turn basically all of this around. Um, and then the buses then can go through here. Wait, yeah, that that alone makes sense. Okay, so yeah, so if you come up here... Wow, can I get rid of this tool? Thank you. you come over here, you can come this way, and then this way to the bus station. And if you want to... No, actually, that doesn't make sense. Because a bus is then going to have to be able to go out and around. So, um... Wait, what was my plan for this? Um, yeah, I think either way we slice it, the buses are going to have to make a weird route to get this way. So as it sits now, if you're a bus, you have to come up here to the station and then pull out over here and basically double back through and go this way. To get to the station, you just have to come up here and then come right into the station. So I don't know, either way you slice it, it's going to be a doubling back situation. So, I think this is the way to go. Yes. Because people can then, if they have to go this way, they can make a short little trip around the block. It's m less convenient than going this way, but... Um, or actually, is there any point to have this go... Or to have this part of the road not flip around and go this way? I don't think so. Wait. Um, let me think about this. If... You're in here, and you... Why would you have to go this way? Or why would you have to go back this way? Um... I don't think you would. Although, unless there's people parking. I don't know. Let's just leave it like this, and if there are any issues or anything, you guys let me know, and I'll have to re-examine that, and probably do that at a time when I can think and not have to babble on about thinking. Right? Brain hurts. All right, this over here looks good. Now that it's daytime, we can kind of get back to this. And we actually gained a ton of money again during the nighttime. So, yeah, our budget is back to normal. So, all right, this is that. And then I wanted to do this tool and just smooth, use the, not, it, this is not the smoothinator, but um, I want this to look better than it is. What are you doing? All right. You know what? We're just going to have to deal with this later or, you know, after we figure this road out. And we could probably do that right now. Let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah, to get out of this part of the transit hub, you're just going to go up to here. And this is the main road out. And this will be the main road into town, pretty much. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, so we'll surround this kind of with a mountain range kind of looking... Mounds, I guess. This will just kind of be a continuation of mountain range. I could probably do this while I explain this. Um, and then, basically, Suburbia will then fill in the rest of this. And I have some good plans for Suburbia. I kind of want outside of the mountain range to be um, more like trees. So I kind of want this whole district to look like it's cutting into a bunch of trees. And... We'll be able to extend it. Yeah, basically, what's going on over here, I want to happen down over here. So, we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to wrap this episode up. We've gotten a lot done, and... Oh, no. It looks like death is back upon us. Um, so, I'm just going to have to turn back on some of these crematoriums. You know what? I think the best decision to do, or to make, is to just keep those on. Not to screw around with it anymore. And then we'll get to that Grand Central Terminal when we get to it. 
So, yeah. Guys, this has been fun. It's been a fun week. It's been a good week of One Way Bay. Um, we've gotten a lot done. I've unfortunately not gotten a lot done in Planet Coaster, which is pretty unfortunate. I just haven't been able to sit down and figure out what's going on with that series, but, you know. Um, yeah, make sure you guys check that series out, and continue to support One Way Bay if you're into it. The people definitely need you in this time of crises once again. So, yeah, I will see you back here. Until next time, guys, stay tuned.